Today on MTG on Pat, we're getting stuck into another box of Theros Beyond Death. So let's take a look here. So I got a promo foil island, one of these new Nixlands. Very nice indeed. Check it out. I'll pop that over there. We'll also be cracking open the buyer box promo later in the video, so stay tuned. And today we will be snacking on nine packs. Uh, slowing down a little bit now, taking a look at the commons and uncommons as well. And if you missed out on the earlier videos, I'll pop a link up in the corner to the first one. Had some crazy pulls there. So let's grab three from each column. Grab one here. And finally the first column. And hopefully we do even better this time around. Uh, the Actually the first two boxes were really good so no complaints at all. So let's see here. Three, four, five, and four more. All right, perfect. Let's get stuck into it. And how did you do at the pre-release event over the weekend? I know I've been asking that a fair bit, but I think some of the uh, pre-releases were still going on when I was recording the earlier videos. So interested to hear what people pulled. Okay, let's get stuck into it. We start off with a human soldier token, an island, non-foil, a foil starlit mantle, which incidentally I pulled in my pre-release, and Protein Thaumaturge, Creature Human Wizard 1-1 one, one for 2. So this guy has Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Protein Thaumaturge become a copy of another target creature, except it has this ability. Okay, so pop that down there. And you might have noticed the cards are in a bit of a different order. So these boxes were printed in Japan. So they typically have the order all mixed around here. Next, Uncommons, we have Drag to the Underworld, Furious Rise, and Favoured of Erewis. And Commons, Transcendent Envoy, Underworld Rage Hound, Sunmain Pegasus, Brian Giant, Infuriate, Leonin of the Lost Pride, Towering Wave Mystic, and Relentless Pursuit. Oh, this guy's cool. Rage Scarred Berserker, Creature Minotaur Berserker. Okay, so Minotaur Tribal is a thing. And have you thought about putting together a Tribal Minotaur deck? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, next up we have a Satyr token. A Forest. I always have to check if they're foil. And there is Hakdos the Unscarred. Legendary Creature Human Warrior 6-1 for 4 in the... Uh, what is that? Boros colors. Hakdos the Unscarred attacks each combat if able. As Hector enters the battlefield, choose two, three, or four at random and has protection from each converted mana cost other than the chosen number. That seems pretty crazy to me. I'm not sure how well that works out in practice, but it seems good. Uncommons, Ferris Band, Brawler, Soul Guide, Lantern, Agonizing Remorse, and the Commons, Altar of the Pantheon, Oriad of Mountains Blaze, Flummox, Cyclops, Naiad of Hidden Coves, Sentinel's Eyes, Nalia's Huntmaster, Omen of the Hunt, Eidolon of Philosophy, Fruit of Tizerus, and Relentless Pursuit. So that one's come up a few times. There we go. And some people are going, why are you going through the commons? I have this uh, every now and then. New people stop by. That is part of the charm of the channel, and I absolutely love looking at the artwork of magic cards, so don't want to miss anything, and it also gives me the opportunity to come up with some ridiculous voices. And we pulled a mythic Heliod Sun Crown. Yes, a legendary enchantment creature god 5 5 for 3 with indestructible. As long as your devotion wide is less than 5, Heliod isn't a creature. I'm going to view gain life. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature or enchantment you control for one and white. Another target creature gains life link until end of turn. Fantastic. Pop that over there. We'll have a separate mythic pile because we're going to pull an absolute ton in this video, aren't we? Nessian Wanderer. Moving on to the uncommons. Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. Our Seed of Life's Bounty. And commons. 
Nexborn Colossus Aspect of Manticore, Satyr's Cunning, Ichthyomorphosis! I'm going to fish you, sir. Yes, indeed. You probably heard that a lot over the weekend. Omen of the Forge, Hero of the Pride, Bronze Sword, Rage Scarred Berserker, there is again, Elysian Curated, Funeral Rites, and that is it for another pack. So, let's continue here. Got a Human Soldier, a Forest, and a Foil, Archon of Falling Stars. Alright, pop that over there. Dream Trawler is the rare, so this is pretty cool. Creature Sphinx 3, 5, 4, 6. With Flying and Lifelink, whenever you draw a card, Dream Trawler gets plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. And whenever it attacks, draw a card. And if you discard a card, it gains Hexproof until end of turn. Tap it. So this sounded pretty strong from the pre-release from what I heard. Impending Doom. Dawn of Angel. Whirlwind Denial, and onto the commons we have Cetessian Skirmisher, Incendiary Oracle, Venomous Hierophant, Gorgon Cleric, so Gorgons are here, Thirst for Meaning, Omen of the Sun, Hyrax Tower Scout, Chain to Memory, Moss Viper with Death Touch, Nasty Little Beast, Omen of the Dead, and that is it, so we've got Erebos there, so one God Pull already, can we add to the tally? Next up we have a elemental token, a mountain, a... Oh, nice! Nyx Lotus Foil, holy cow! Legendary artifact for four, it enters the battlefield tapped, you can tap, choose a colour, add an amount of mana of that colour equal to your devotion to that colour. So your devotion to a colour is the number of mana symbols of that colour in a mana cost of permanence you control. Fantastic Paul! I'm going to put that over here. And I actually like to get the play out of that as well. It's a very tasty artwork indeed. And the rare, or second rare I should say, Taranika. A Crown veteran, legendary creature, human soldier, 3-3-3 with vigilance. Whenever it attacks, untap another target creature you control until end of turn. That creature has base power and toughness, 4-4 four, four, and gains indestructible. Alright, Fateful End, Hydra's Growth, One with the Stars, and the Commons, Nyxborn Brute, Glory Bearers, Heliod's Pilgrim, Nyxborn Seaguard, Final Death! I think I pulled three of those in my pre-release, that was a bit much. Farika's Libation, Memory Drain, ooh, that's creepy, haven't seen that one before. Nylea's Forerunner, and that guy did a lot of heavy lifting for me. Aspect of Lamprey! Ooh, creepy indeed. Okay, four more packs to go. Still a chance for more craziness. I think the quota has been met already, actually, but there's more to come. MTG Arena. We've got a Forest, a... Rix the Sudden Storm, legendary creature, elemental giant, 4-5 for five, 5, so I pulled this guy as well at pre-release. Flash and Flying, suppose you cast with Converted Mana, cost 5 or greater, cost 1 less to cast and can't be counted. Alright, pop him down there. Uncommon Staggering Insight, Grey Merchant of Asphodel, so Gary is now an Uncommon, Agonizing Remorse, and Common Stampede Rider. Traveller's Amulet, Aspect of Manticore, Karametra's Blessing, Warbriar Blessing, Sleep of the Dead, this one's pretty funny. Got the three-headed dog having a snooze, Nalia's Forerunner, Soul Reaper of Mogus, another one of these cool minotaurs, Towering Wave, Mystic, and Return to Nature. Okay, getting close to the end here. Next up we got a wolf, a mountain, and Perforos's intervention. Sorcery for X and a red. Choose one, create an X or oh okay, create an X one red elemental creature token with trample and haste. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step and it deals twice X damage to target creature or planeswalker. So you can pick one of those. Pretty versatile. And Uncommon's Devourer of Memory, 
Impending Doom, a Sea God Scorn, and the Commons Wrap in Flames. That one's pretty nice in foil as well. Triton Wave Rider, Witness of Tomorrow's Stern Dismissal, Triumphant Surge, Venomous Hierophant, Omen of the Hunt, Grim Physician, Creature Zombie, ooh, Scavenging Harpy, Plummet, and that is another pack down. Two packs left, people. I'd like to see another mythic here. Fingers crossed, we get a human soldier, a plains, and Archon of Sun's Grace. Creature Archon 3 4 for 4 with flying and lifelink. Pegasus creatures to control have lifelink. Okay, so there must be a fair few Pegasus creatures here. As Constellation, whenever an enchantment enters the food under your control, create a 2 2 white Pegasus creature token with flying. Okay, so that is where you're churning those out. Nessian Horn Beetle. Inevitable end, the birth of my lettuce, as I say. And Commons Scophos War Leader, Satessan Skirmisher, Thrill of Possibility, Captivating Unicorn, Brian Giant, Omen of the Forge, Indomitable Will, Nixborn Marauder, another Minotaur there, Satessan Training, and Bronze Sword, last pack. Okay, so I think we've done fairly well, although most of the crazy pulls were near the beginning. We got MTG Arena, Swamp, and rare is Mantle of the Wolf, Enchantment Aura for four, Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature gets plus four, plus four, and when that's put into a graveyard from the battlefield, create two, two, two green wolf creature tokens. Some fun artwork there as well. Ooh, Showcase, Timeret Chosen from Death. That is a pretty tasty one. I think that was in the uh, one of the Planeswalker decks as well, the Ashok one. Um, and if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll pop a link up in the corner. Quite a fun looking deck. Next, Escape Velocity, Reverent Hoplite, and Commons, a Reverent Revelers, Thaumaturge's Familiar, Omen of the Sea, Nylea's Huntmaster, Sentinel's Eyes, Nixborn's Sea Guard. Scavenging Harpy, Nexus Wardens, Chain to Memory, and Grim Physician. Okay, so now we'll take a look at this. You're probably familiar with what's in these by now. Um, there's one thing that seems to be in each one. There's another that is a bit random. So let's see what we get here. So of course there's this guy, Athreos Shroud Veiled. Legendary enchantment creature, God, he's a mythic. 4-7 for 6 mana with indestructible. As long as your devotion white and black is less than 7, Athreos isn't a creature. At the beginning of your end step, put a coin counter on another target creature. And whenever a creature with a coin counter on it dies or is put into exile, return that card to the battlefield under your control. Okay, so put him over here. We also get an island, and these were supposed to be foil actually, but... They were handing them out separately. I think they made a mistake and some weird little tip card. Okay, so there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. We've got an absolute ton of Theros Beyond Death stuff coming up. Along with the usual patron unpackings. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.